So it's only been, like, what? Less than two weeks, uh, or less than a week of, uh, Disney now owning Fox? And they're already announcing what they're planning to do with Fox, uh, with Fox Entertainment and all its IPs. And the biggest news to come out is that they have announced that they will be, uh, that Disney will be officially making alien films. That's right, they are doing more alien films for their, uh, for their franchise. Now, what's interesting to note is that they didn't say that they were going to be following uh, Prometheus and Alien Covenant. They said it was going to be, from the article I read at least, it was that it was going to be a new direction. Like, they were going to go in a new direction from uh, Prometheus and Alien Covenant. But they didn't say if Ridley Scott was still working on his projects. So I don't know what, what the point, what that is, but in theory you could do two Alien, you could do Pro, the Prometheus era and the um, Alien stuff as well, because there's such a big time frame between Alien and the, and the Prometheus timeline. So, yeah. You could, honest to God, get away with doing both Ridley Scott's films, which I have given up on after Covenant, um, and whatever Disney film they do, you know, whatever Disney wants to do there, because you could just easily say, oh, we're a good hundred years away from that. We're a good... Um, over 100 years away from that, so we don't have to worry about whatever co uh, continuity, you know, uh, Scott's building, if Ridley Scott's doing, which they could, you know, um, after all the news of saying, well, I don't want to focus on the Xenomorphs anymore, I want to do my own thing and make it about dro androids and, you know, not still not answer all the big questions I've been building up and all that, and totally muddle a story full of dumbass characters. He didn't say that, but he might as well have. Um, yeah. So it's kind of funny, Universe, that, um, it's, it's really funny to me, uh, here, here, guys, because way back, here's a story for you. Here's a story about a guy named Michael Eisner. Now, Michael Eisner was the previous CEO of Disney, of the Disney Corporation, and he was, uh, shall we say, a little too bored with the Disney magic. Now, it's very much, I can't, we can't really condemn uh, Eisner, because much like Joe Quesada, he both saved and nearly destroyed Disney at the same time. So, yeah, Eisner saved Disney from itself when it came so close to bankruptcy, but then he nearly destroyed it again. So there's a whole story about that. He's very much like what Joe, it's, and it's funny now that Disney now owns Marvel, so, you know, take that as you will. Um... But my point is, is that um, Eisner, for the longest time, the longest time, wanted Alien to be part of um, to be part of the Disney franchise because his son was like, it's kind of boring. There's no like young adult stuff to go around, and he was like, let's get Alien. That's young adult, and that's why when the great movie ride when it was around, that's why they, there were Alien animatronics there because they were testing the water to put an alien legit ride. In fact, Alien Encounter was supposed to be a xenomorph. It was supposed to be a legit xenomorph. So, yeah, it's funny now that Eisner's gone, and now we not only have Alien, but Predator and everything else. <laughs> I find that fucking hilarious. It, like, it's so ironic that the guy who di wanted Alien didn't get Alien, and then the guy... Bob Iger comes along and gets Alien a couple years later. It's hysterical to me. Um, so yeah, that was my, uh, that's, it's kind of funny if you're a Disney fan like I am. But what's interesting to note is that they also said that they're not, it's not just going to be Alien films they're going to be working on, guys. They've also announced that they're going to be working on new films for Planet of the Apes, Avatar, but that was a given, which, again, you you know, it's a no-duh because it's over at Animal Kingdom now. But the other major thing was Planet of the Apes and uh, Kingsman. You know, they are going to do more Kingsman movies and Planet of the Apes movies. But Alien was the one that made everyone go, wait, hold up, time out. You're, you're doing Alien? Like, um... Uh... You... Uh, you're doing what now, Disney? You're... Um... Uh... <laughs> you, hang on, what? What? You see, I'm, I'm pausing because it's so fucking confusing for everybody. Uh, because no one was expecting them to do a, you know, 
alien movie. But I kind of suspected that they were do they were going to do an alien movie. I suspected they were going to do it because Bob Iger and the other CEOs, at, at the other heads at Disney, did state when they got the moment they got the rights to officially got the rights to everything at Fox, not just with Fantastic Four and X Men. They stated out front, "We are going to be making." Alien and Predator movie, like we are going to keep Alien and Predator movies R rated. That was their whole thing, and I found it interesting that it was like, so you're gonna keep Alien and Predator R rated, and you're gonna keep um, that. You wouldn't say that unless you had plans for it. You would, no one would say that unless they had like some form of plan for um, this story, you know, for their films. Although they didn't mention Predator in these new lineup for movies, so it makes me wonder if they're like thinking they're trying to retool it after how bad the Predator did. Um, so perhaps what it, what's probably going to happen is that they're probably going to do an Alien movie, see how that goes, and then work on a new Predator film. Hopefully, it won't be a total reboot. Uh, don't do that. Don't do that, please. Don't make it reboots. We don't need another Ellen Ripley. We don't need another Dutch. As is, you know, keep as keep the continuity as is with Xenomorphs and Yaucha. Also, don't take the rights from um, don't take the rights from uh, the com you know from Dark Horse like you did with Conan. I'm so well, I don't I don't see that happening honestly. I mean, it could still happen. Don't get me wrong. But the thing is, is that uh, Dark Horse and Marvel are uh, and Dis Dark Horse and Disney kind of a deal going on in that. They have, they're doing Incredibles and Avatar, which is also under them now. So, yeah. I think they're going to let Dark Horse keep doing Alien and Predator comics because I think, like, that'd be the case is that, you know, they're already doing comics for Disney, so I think it makes sense that they're just going to keep doing Alien and Predator comics. Although, if it does, if the, the worst comes to worse, um, and Alien and Predator do go to Marvel, uh, just, just, just do, just you know, just give Donny Cates Alien and Jason Aaron Predator. That's it. That's all you need. Anyway. So, yeah, I think it's cool that we're getting a new Alien movies. Also, Planet of the Apes films, but they didn't specify on which timeline they're gonna do or They're gonna do it with. Are they gonna follow the Caesar timeline, because Caesar is dead in War for the Planet of the Apes? Or are they going to do something different? Are they gonna do something new? Um, or are they gonna follow the original continuity um, or do a reboot of that. Well, we got a reboot of, with Tim Burton, and that was garbage. But, um, you never know. You never know with Disney and how they're going to play this out. Um, so yeah, I think this is a cool idea. I'm, I was a little apprehensive, and there is a part of me that's like, what if they still cock it up? What if they still cock this up? Um, but yeah, I think if anyone can save Alien... Because let's face it, I'm, I know I've been talking mainly about Alien and Predator, because the other the other franchises are still a go, are still, like, good for the most part. Even Terminator's getting a... I keep forgetting Terminator is coming out with a movie in, I believe, October. We haven't seen shit for that. We haven't seen any shit for that except a poster and maybe some, uh, some photo, set photos. Other than that, jack all for that. <laughs> um, so maybe... Who knows? Like maybe they'll they'll do ter more Terminator movies if um, Dark Fate, which I can't believe that's the name of. That's so fucking fan fiction. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. The point being, ladies and gentlemen, the point being is that if anyone can save uh, Alien and Predator, because two people who clearly knew about doing Alien and Predator movies, Shane Black and Ridley Scott, have clearly have no idea what they're doing. So you might as well give it over to somebody else who might know. How about give it over to... Oh, what's his name? Who's doing the RoboCop movie and he did District 9. Um, he was going to do an Alien 5 movie that was going to complete Ripley's story. I, for, I forget his name, but maybe they can give it to that guy. Or maybe... I don't know, like... There's so many directions you can go with Alien. And it sucks that the only thing we're getting out of an Alien... The 40th anniversary of Alien is really just fan films. It's really, like, good fan films, don't get me wrong, but really, it's just like a small fan film story, and it breaks my heart that we're not getting anything other, uh, you know, other major, any other major stuff. It also sucks that Alien Day is going to be over, because LV-426, that you know, um, 426 is Alien Day um, by Fox, 
is going to be overshadowed by Avengers Endgame. So you lost on that front, too. Anyway, so you guys tell me in the comments below, uh, tell us here at Comic Universe in the comments below, what do you guys think of uh, alien films being made by Disney? What do you think of Disney-made alien films? Are you guys excited? Are you guys not? Do you want them to continue with Ridley Scott's story, or do you want them to go in a new direction? Comment below, let us know. I'm DPZ, and I, we will see you right here once more in the universe.